now that you have installed the Docker desktop or the Docker toolbox on your computer, I'm sure you're reaching to try out Docker to understand how to make use of it and run Docker containers. Now, of course, as I said, we'll come back to the terminology a little bit later in this um, uh, series of videos. But for the moment, uh, just to make sure that your Docker is correctly installed on your computer, uh, fire up a terminal window. If you are running Docker Toolbox on your Windows machine, then uh, open the Docker Quick Start shell that gives you a bash-like environment to run Docker commands on your Windows machine. Now, once you get your terminal started, at the prompt, type docker minus minus version to check to see whether Docker is running on your computer and which version of it has been installed. So here on my computer, I have installed Docker version 19.03.8, uh, which is the latest um, at the moment. And I am running Docker desktop on my Mac. Now that we have confirmed that Docker is properly installed on our computer, the next uh, immediate step for us is to launch a Docker container. So to do that, at the prompt type docker run hello world. Now, when we issue a command like this, we are making use of the Docker command line interface or the Docker CLI, which allows us to communicate with the Docker daemon that is running behind the scenes or the Docker engine that is running behind the scenes in order to help us to launch containers, prepare images, and many other things. So first, let's launch a very simple Docker container called Hello World and see what it does. So when you um, hit the uh, enter or the return uh, button, so you can see that this uh, Docker container just ran on your computer and then generated this output onto the screen. Let's quickly look at what this Docker um, uh, container has output onto the screen. So first and foremost, if you scroll back a little bit, it says unable to find image um, locally. So this is a Docker image that is required for creating a Docker container. Again, hold on to those terms. We'll come back to understand what those terms mean in a later video. So uh, then it says pulling from library hello world. And then um, once it is done, it says pull complete. Then it says downloaded newer image hello world latest. And then it says hello from Docker. And so this is what is being output by your Docker container when it is running on your computer. And when the container starts running, it is going to output this onto the screen. So what the Docker client does is the Docker client, that is the Docker CLI, um, the command line interface uh, through which we have uh, sent the command to the Docker daemon. So the Docker client contacted the daemon and then the daemon, uh, the Docker um, application running behind the scenes is going to communicate with the Docker hub and pull down the hello world image from there. And then once that is done, it creates a new container using that image and then uh, which runs the executable and then starts the container. So once the container is started, then the Docker daemon collects all the output from the container, which is streamed uh, uh, by the uh, Docker uh, container and then outputs that to the Docker client, which is uh, sent on to your screen and then printed out on your screen here. So that is exactly what is achieved by this simple uh, Docker container there. And so uh, it has helped you to verify that your Docker installation has been properly done and you're able to make use of Docker on your computer. Now, of course, um, the uh, Docker site and the um, 
people behind Docker have designed and released a lot of tutorials and uh, examples on how to make use of Docker. So that is one way of learning Docker. In this uh, series of videos, I'm also showing you my way of uh, approaching to learn Docker from the perspective of a full stack web developer. So with this, we have completed this simple exercise that enables you to verify that your Docker installation is correct and you launched your very first Docker container. Now, uh, you can um, then check to see what images are now available on your computer. So at the prompt, type Docker images and then you will see that on your computer, this particular Docker image, which you just pulled down from the Docker Hub, is available for you. So anytime you want to, again, uh, run this container, you can say Docker run hello world, and then you will notice that at this point, the image doesn't have to be pulled down from the Docker Hub. Instead, it directly launches the Docker container using the image that is already available for you locally and then uh, prints out this um, item on the screen. So this is where I'm showing you the second run of this uh, Docker um, uh, run hello world example here. Again, it generated exactly the same output onto the screen. So I have illustrated a few Docker CLI commands in this exercise. Now. Um, with this, I hope you got a quick introduction into Docker. Mm -hmm.